Hello, welcome to my kiln opening. Um, I just did my first ever glaze firing in my own kiln. Um, the kiln's name is Bear, by the way, I named it. Um, and yeah, let's, let's look at my pieces, I'm really excited. So I made, I made three Adventure Time, oh, I made three Adventure Time inspired cups. Um, here's the first one I took out. Isn't it so cute? It's been chilling with some flowers. Um, I really love the glaze in here. Okay, and I also took this one out. Um, this one became a little warped in the kiln. Um, I feel like that happened to a couple of my pieces because I tried making them as round as possible, but I think the glaze firing kind of warped them. But I really love this one. It's really cute. It's Marceline and Princess Bubblegum. And they're also in a few of the flowers and they're chilling. Oh yeah, this is my third um, Adventure Time inspired cup. It's um, Lumpy, <laughs> Lumpy Space Princess. She's so cute. This one is like, oh my God, this is my favorite one so far. It is adorable. There are some little like um, pinholes that happened in the glaze, unfortunately. I think it's because my clay body wasn't, I didn't like get all the air bubbles out, but the inside looks great. And oh, it's so cute. Um, pom pom pouring. Uh, it's intentionally supposed to be a little pink. I, I used a pink. Um, under glaze. <laughs> Here's my first. Um, so these are inspired by Ditto. I made a couple of these. So they're like purple on the inside. And then you can see the little Ditto face. Um, there's another one in the kiln, but, or actually a couple more. I, I painted these like um, blue pottery pieces. They're a little like, I think it's because the glaze, like it just, it happens, um, but they're really cute. I really like them. Uh, oh, this one turned out amazing. I love the little strawberry painted. And here's this one. Look how cute the little guy inside of there. Oh, they all feel so smooth and nice. I'm so happy with them. This is like, I'm so excited. I like, I like shaking. Oh my gosh, look at the little Shiba. Um, my boyfriend, he loves Shibas, so I painted two Shiba cups. The other one is somewhere else in there, but look at this one. This one is so cute. I'm so happy, I'm so happy right now. Oh, and here's a little like flower teacup thing. Okay, last one from the first layer. Um, so this is an Animal Crossing character. Her name is Marina. And the glaze, I love the glaze on the inside for this one. It looks so cool. So yeah, some of them did come out a little bit warped again, um, but that's okay. Cause these ones are supposed to be like not super perfect, which is like, it's like nice. And I love the glaze on the inside. They're so pretty. Um, wow. So this is um, Tom Nook, he's another Animal Crossing character. As you can see, I really like painting characters from my favorite like um, games and shows and such. Here's the other Shiba. Um, I don't really know what went wrong, but the handle is like, it's not smooth, it's really textured. These are the other two I took out. Um, here are the other Ditto inspired um, little like vase planter. Uh, they're both like little planters. I think these are really cute. This one is like, um, I guess like, I like to make things that are sort of similar. So these two are like kind of in the same series. <laughs> they're both this like flower-esque design. Um, oh, this one turned out so cute. Again, a little bit of like bubbling issue. Maybe again, that's just my underglaze. I think I have to properly test out my underglaze because I use a whole, bunch of different brands and perhaps some of them don't mix that well with others but isn't this one cute i really like it it's um another animal crossing character oh these turned out so cute so i'll just that there for now um i painted gudetama this one is a well i actually love it so much 
Um, again, this beautiful blue glaze. Like I'm so happy with this glaze. It is absolutely gorgeous. Like look at it. Um, again, a little bit of a bubbling issue on all of these. Well, not all of them, but on a couple of them it's because some of them are probably like um, just like leftover clay and I didn't really, I don't know, need them well enough or something, but so cute. Oh my gosh. I love Gudetama. Like I have a hard time letting go of Gudetama things. So like I should keep everything I make that's Gudetama, which means I should probably make more. So then I can actually sell a couple, you know, cause I know it's a really like popular character. I'm so happy with this one. Um, oh, and speaking of happy, isn't this the most adorable thing you see? Oh my gosh, I am, I am blown away. Like, oh, I feel so bad for saying this because like I made this, but I'm just so impressed. Again, this beautiful color on the inside and oh, everything about this just came out so well. Like I love the design, like it just, Oh, this is so perfect. Like, I love holding it. It looks so cute. I'm glad nothing has like stuck on my shelves yet. Wait, I shouldn't jinx myself. <laughs> okay. Um, so, Stitches, another Animal Crossing character. Okay, then last shelf now. Wow. Oh my gosh. Guys. This is so cool. Okay, so here's the inside. Isn't that, isn't that crazy? Like the inside looks so cool. Um, wow, I can't stop looking at it. This is nuts. I love this one so much. <sighs> I am, I am deeply upset. I'm deeply upset by this one. Because I had so many details on this one. I made this flower pot like super duper detailed. And I painted on like, oh, you see this entire thing is like gone over here. That is just so unfortunate. I added so many details. Like I literally spent like four days just painting this piece. And I genuinely did not expect the glaze to just like wash it all out. I thought I would at least see like what I painted. It's still cute. I still would put like a little plant in here. So I have a little, um, little flower pot thing with a butterfly. I really like this one. And this little froggy. Oh, this one's actually really cute. I'm really happy with this one. So like the little froggy. And the last of my, um, like pots and then I have a couple of figurines and such. So here's a little vase, another one of those blue pottery vases. Um, I made a couple of those. Here's this one. I really like this one. This one was more like experimental for me. Um, I kind of just wanted to like make something cool and like interesting to look at and I'm happy I painted it white. It looks very like delicate, you know? Um, whoa, this one is really neat. Well, it's like sea foam. It's really neat. Um, yeah, awesome, awesome, awesome. Hmm, this one's so cute, the little froggy. Ta-da! It's a little bunny on a mushroom. It's so cute. It's like one of those like um like blue pottery. I'm I'm really inspired by like the designs of like blue pottery. So I painted that on. Oh, um, I guess instead of talking about my favorite and my least favorite, I wanted to talk about some good things and some bad things, because obviously I can't pick a favorite. I kept it quite safe because I knew that um the clear glazes don't run as much. So I tried like keeping everything clear glaze on the outside, because that's just my art style in general. I like doing under glaze paintings. So it was just nice to keep the clear glazes on the outside. So speaking of some good parts, I'm holding these two. Uh, well, I have a couple of these examples, but this glaze that I used on the inside of these cups, I consider that a big win. <laughs> okay, so the glaze I used for um, to get that effect was called 
sorry, it's a little dirty. It's called Pumpernickel uh, from PSH. So, um, speaking of wins again, okay, so now I wanna talk about some fails. I wouldn't say they're fails, but I could have definitely done a bit better. Um, and firstly, it was these brown clay pieces. Um, I either didn't mix up the I either didn't mix up like the glaze correctly for it to have like not become satin because it was a satin glaze or I probably should not have just glazed the outside at all and just left it like raw but I'll definitely try again um, probably do some test tiles <laughs> next and see how that goes so you know it'd be like that um, some other things that did not go as planned were definitely these um, pieces with the blue and the, the blue underglaze. I felt like, I don't know, I didn't really expect them to run this much, especially because a lot of my other underglaze pieces did not like run at all. So it was just kind of unfortunate these ran so much. It, maybe it was the underglaze that I was using. Um, but yeah, and the other thing that was a little disappointing was how some of these like cups warped. I genuinely didn't think that they would like stretch like this, especially because like when I bisque them, they still looked pretty good. I don't know. How do I end this video? I guess to sum it all up, I'm generally very satisfied with my um, first attempt at, you know, firing my kiln, glazing my own pieces at home. Uh, I suppose for next time I'll know better, um, like glaze wise, technique wise. Um, I hope next time I can like pack my kiln a little bit more together so I can get a couple more pieces in there so I like, truly know how much space I take up. Um, Cause I felt like I could have maximized the space a little bit better. Um, I, I don't know, I, I suppose like, I just hope I can get better and better at this. I hope you, I hope you really enjoyed um, watching my video on my first kiln opening. I hope you liked the pieces. I will put them on my Etsy, of course. And if you are interested in my work and perhaps purchasing a piece or just to take a look at pretty pictures because I'll upload more high quality photos on my Instagram. You can go to my Instagram. Uh, you can go to my Etsy, my TikTok. Um, I, I put a link <laughs> down below for everything so you can check that out and on my Instagram we'll have like the notice for my shop updates and such so yeah thank you so much for supporting me thank you so much for watching this video I genuinely appreciate it like pottery is my life passion um, yeah that's all have a wonderful day bye